With heat transfer products, we are able to press and decorate over seams and pockets. Next up in our fall fanware guide, we are talking about outerwear. Specifically today, we're talking about denim jackets. And I am going to show you exactly how to take this really cool and blank denim jacket and turn it into this simply by the materials that we're going to choose that can be heat transferred. Okay, so you've got a quick sneak peek of the jacket that we're decorating for the outerwear portion of our fall fanware guide. But let's really hone in on the products that we're using. If you are in embroidery, or if you're first getting started in heat transfer materials in general, um, this is going to be a game changer product for you. This is called Cad Prince Textured Twill. So it mimics the look of embroidery, but all you have to do is heat apply it for 20 seconds. That is it. No worrying about stitch count, digitizing. You have full color capability and high detail um, depending on what your artwork looks like. So this is the main image that you saw on the back of that denim jacket, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to apply it here in a second. The next two key feature products in really creating a wow statement with this jacket was our red cad cut glitter flake and our white cad cut soft foam. Now, why did we choose these two products? Well, glitter has a pop, right? It has a sparkle, and when the light hits it, it's really gonna grab your attention. Soft foam gives us a little bit of dimension, and both of these products will lay over seams very, very nicely. You're not gonna see a lot of movement in the material because they are both a little bit thicker. Soft foam, even though it's dimensional, is still got some excellent movement. So with a denim jacket already having some weight, this is going to be very minimal added weight to it. The other bonus, you can actually layer on top of soft foam. You cannot layer on CAD cut glitter flake, so we can't do glitter flake on glitter flake or foam on glitter flake, but we could layer glitter flake on top of foam. So those two pairings give us a lot of versatility when using a simple shape like stars. So we don't need to cut or weed. This is art that we uploaded at stalls.com into the artwork uploader, got our proof, approved it, and these were sent to us ready to go. Now our materials behind us were actually cut using our Roland GS24 and all we had to cut were stars. So now let's just review the layout of the denim jacket and how we kind of started putting it together. Okay, so like I said, the only thing we had to cut were the stars. And I wanna show you what it was that I cut out. So I used the same star, um, did an outline, and then I did them in three different sizes. I did a two inch, a three inch, and I took it down to a one inch so I could use those scattered throughout. Now, <laughs> this is how it was going and this is how it went. So what I actually realized when weeding was that when I took those centers out, I had perfectly usable center stars. So not only did I almost get double my amount, these were also kind of easier to place extra if I needed to, or um, we could place these all over the sleeve, the cuff, the collar. They're just little added, added extra accessories. What I found with soft foam was that as I removed the centers from these outlines, they kind of curled, they showed the poke of the weeding tool. So if this is something that you want to do, um, I would just cautious you to have a little bit more um, time when weeding or just a little bit more patience than what I did. I did try to salvage some, but it just did not work for time purposes. And these just turned out too darn good. The glitter is definitely gonna give us a little bit more of a pop, so I'm completely okay with that. So now let's take a look at our denim jacket laid out. What I've done was just simply started adding 
stars wherever I wanted to. This guy can be moved. Um, nothing is, you know, permanent permanently placed and when we go to the press I'll be adjusting just a little bit more but this is where I started taking it to the next level right so we could put a little star right here on top of the soft foam or this guy could even fit into that star we could add another outline right there you know instead of thinking you need multiple colors, the best way is to just start combining the materials. So this is just another way to completely look at options with what you can do. Then you can always turn around and keep adding more and more stars. This is one of those projects where you can start small and continue adding throughout just until you really hit that type of look that you're going for. Don't forget you've also got places down here. Let's push this back up. Places down here where you could turn around and add more stars, just making it more and more unique. The beautiful thing about something like this is you may not have a jacket where everything is identical or you could make it identical. You could also completely make it custom, but for a school purpose, um, especially in bulk um, or more than one in two, I would suggest having some type of uniform. That way you know exactly what you're doing. If your specialty is creating one of a, one of a kind designs or maybe very short runs, then you know what, go have fun with this because this is a very, very, very fun project. So now what we're going to do is take our pillow and I am going to go ahead and thread it through to give me a little bit more of a firm surface and then take this over to the press. Okay, I have adjusted our layout just a little bit, um, but as I am working through this and we are going with a very large surface area, um, there is a strong chance that we are going to have to uh, probably hit these stars a couple of different times. That's completely fine. Um, we just want to make sure that we're getting the shoulders as well as the lower portion on correctly. Now the other thing to remember is we need to take away those that were sitting on top of carriers. That way we didn't apply anything to a carrier instead of the garment. Now this is below, so we are okay here, and that is below as well. The permatwill applies at 300 degrees for 20 seconds. Soft foam is 300 degrees for 15 seconds. And our glitter flake is 302 degrees for 10 to 12 seconds. So we're gonna hit everything for 15 seconds first, and then we will go back in and uh, finalize for our CAD or our texture twill, as well as, um, if there's any other additional hits that we need to do, and then we'll go in and finish with the additional stars. Let's add our cover sheet to protect our bulldog. Adjust our pressure. Let's go more. Now the texture twill doesn't have a carrier, but our glitter flake is a hot peel and our soft foam is cold. However, there are times I find that a warm does work. So glitter flake first. Let's just test. So right here, our star did not fully adhere to that seam, and it's because we are right on the edge of that seam. Like I said, it also may need more of a cold peel versus a warm or hot. This is still pretty hot. 
But as you can see, our star is laying nicely over the seam and we're not getting any type of crazy texture showing through. And our CAD prints is complete. So now let's see. Okay, being careful here. Now I did not pull this off of the press and probably should have in order for that to cool down. So while this is waiting, let's go ahead and add in our additional stars. This is, needs to be our focus area at the moment. So I'm gonna shift everything down. And if we need to re-hit that bottom, then we easily can. Now I wanna make sure that I'm not getting any carrier um, on top of the texture twill. I don't want uh, that to be affected in any possible way. Cover sheet back on. And this is one of the reasons that we use a cover sheet. As you can see, we've had a little bit of lift from our textured twill. Now I have flipped this jacket over and as you can see, all we did was repeat the back in a different way. We added texture, or excuse me, we added perma twill here on the left chest, but we've you know, still created this scattered uh, feel of stars. Now I have already gone and applied some of these. So we just need to remove some of the carriers. And just like we did on the back, we have to go and hit uh, a couple of different times to make sure everything is, is, is adhered correctly. Now that perma twill can bleed. So I'm gonna just cover that. And then we will apply for another 15 quick seconds and then add any other little elements that we need to. All right, now huge shout out to Threadfast. They sponsored this denim jacket and another look that we have in our fall fan wear guide. So you have to click the link down below to download it and check out all of the categories in our fall fan wear guide. Now check this out. This is a back with a wow statement. We've got full color, we've got texture, we've got dimension, and we've got all over design. This is how our front turned out as well. It's a little bit more minimal, but we created a couple of peekaboo spots with the pockets, like right here, having the star fit into that pocket. Now, without a heat press, this would be extremely uh, difficult to do and way too time consuming. Yes, we had to hit the press on this multiple times, but this is a fairly large jacket with a very large all over placement, right? But the outcome is so, so worth it. Now, go out, have some fun and decorate all of the outerwear possible and get into denim jackets. They're trending right now. And of course, if you can add this customization for any person, company, and of course schools, do it and do it now. I'm Kelly Walters. Thanks so much for tuning in. And, and we really hope that you are enjoying these videos of the Fall Fanwear Guide. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and this is the first one you're seeing, go back and check out all of the Fall Fanwear Guides of 2022. We'll see you next time.